Hi, welcome back. This is part two of the spring printing video uh, regarding the t-shirt calculator. So we're going to go back in and take off where we left off in the previous video. We had already discussed about how to set up the video. So we're just going to go back in and start here. In the previous video, we discussed the adding products and one thing I forgot to mention is that this calculator will go in and upcharge the garment uh, for colored shirts so if you were to add white shirts we would see the price would be substantially different everyone knows that uh, the cost of printing a black t-shirt is more than the cost of printing white so it does that for you also. We're going to go ahead and go down here back to where we were. Uh, so where we left off was we had the total products and we had our number of products. This uh, calculator will give you a price break for a certain amount at, at certain intervals, a certain numbers of shirts. So that's automatically added in. We're just going to go ahead and choose our form of printing. Now that we have our products, let's add our printing. And you can choose from a couple of different options. Screen printing, photo t-shirts, which would be heat transfers or direct to garment uh, shirts. We just do 11, 8 by 11 inch prints, so that's what we have here. Um, individual names and numbers, you can add names to the front of the shirts or names to the back of the shirts, and you can add numbers. So for this uh, quote, we're going to do a one color screen print on the front. Notice that when we change this from zero to one color, our setup fee changes and this is the setup fee that we set up previously when we were setting up the calculator. Here's our screen printing costs. It's automatic cal automatically calculated for you. Um, if we wanted to add a color on the back, there's another screen fee. So this will kind of shows you how, you know, the calculator works. And the more, you know, screens you add, the more the screen fee. So, but we're just going to leave it at one. So, let's say our customer has a one color design on the front. And for this order, we're not going to do any photo t-shirts. But if we were... We would add the price here, the quantity here, for printing on the front or printing on the back, and it would give you the cost. But we're going to leave that at zero because we're doing screen printing right now. So let's say we screen printed a, a football design uh, or let's say a basketball design on the front of the shirts. Uh, Johnson's basketball team. On the back of the shirts, this customer wants individual names and numbers. So we have 83 jerseys, 83 shirts. And on the back of those 83 shirts, we're going to do different names. So we're going to say we're going to do 83 individual names. It's going to give us the, the cost here for the names. $332. We're going to go in and add double digit numbers for each one of those jerseys. So let's say um, that would be 166 numbers, I believe, yeah, 166 numbers. And this is just a rough scenario of, you know, a screen printing job. Here you have your screen, your setup fee, your screen printing cost, the cost for adding the names, the cost for adding the numbers, and the shirt cost. This is really easy for your customer to understand. The cost of 
products, printing costs, screen fees, capture subtotal, sales tax, and your total. Additional fees that you may have would be rush fees. So let's just go in and say we're not going to do rush, but so we're going to do 14 days. Or you may do five days. For us, we don't charge a rush fee for five days, but if you were doing a three day rush, there would be a rush fee. And you can set up your rush fees um, when you set up doing the initial setup of the calculator. But we're going to take off rush today. Also, if you added that rush fee here, three days, look what happens. The date changes here to three days. So, now what about customer artwork? If you have customers and they need, they have art that's ready, they don't charge, there's no fee. But you may charge for text only designs, stock logos, and you can go in and add all of this stuff. It's very easy. Vector conversions, color separations. We're just going to do a custom logo. Sometimes you'll have customers that will reorder, and that's what this area is for, um, to reorder screens, and you would just add, click here and do it. There will be a drop down box, um, and you can set your prices for reordering screens. We've added other just in case you do deliveries or if there are any type of other fees that are associated with uh, the cost of printing. Well, we're done. This is our tax exempt total, and it breaks it down to the cost per shirt. And this is our total with taxes, and that breaks it down to the cost per shirt. And that's good for uh, sometimes we'll have companies that pay tax, and then we'll have schools or churches that we deal with. We could, from this point, we could just go in and add the customer's name, Linda Johnson, and if we want to fill out, the, add a phone number. enter our shipping or delivery information here we're done we could easily go ahead and email this to the customer for payment um, my calculator is set up that when I click pay now it actually takes you to my website and you can uh, purchase pay for your purchase there it's pretty much up to you. There's a link in here that will show you how to do that. Also, um, it's taking this page a little long to upload. I don't know what's... Okay, there we have it. So this would be the page in my site where you would go. You could also say that you wanted to just print this you could just print this and give it to your customer. It's kind of moving a little slow here. I don't know where my print preview is. Okay, you could print this, and this doubles not only as a quote but as the invoice. If you have any questions about the calculator, you can always give us a call. The website is www.